What's going on people? This is Wally King and I'm over here breaking down the release of one of my most recent release, Deal on My Mind. I know a lot of people say this, but um I made Deal on My Mind when I was like, you know, in a real bad place and um I was I just had like so much going on in my brain and all these things. It's more like me trying to like, you know, break free of all these things. That's how Jill on My Mind came in the picture. I call you late night just to get inspired. Drag to the solo, you put me through inside me, burn like a fire. Yeah, her name Mariah, and I call you late because I'm tired. Tired of this phone, this fake niggas trying to bring me down. Hope I retire. Call you late night just to get inspired. What I mean by that was calling on to God, um, talking to Him, like, you know, about my life lately and what's going on and all these things and i'm asking him like you know why me why is everything going sideways and also a girl i was seeing at the time i didn't really know where i was with her i just had so much going wrong and i had like a lot of things you know stressing me and i thought like you know if i'm gonna hurt her she's gonna be my peace you know that's that's not the way to do things you know what i mean like putting your putting your hope in something or someone like this is gonna like bring me happiness it was more like she was bringing more problems like putting more fire to my problems and all these things until i realized that you know it took me time and um, i just say you know we lost a lot during those process when i'm tired blood sweat and tears things just a passion everything around me the manners but piece by piece i'm collecting this fraction used to be in a bad place still learning how to deal with anxiety and depression i think it was year 2020 during covid i remember i was talking to this guy about you know having no money and um i've just been like you know spending like most of my money on music you know music related like stuff music videos you know and he was telling me like man you're still young you don't even have to like you know spend so much money on music because it's just a passion for you and all these things and i'm like nah man <laughs> it's not just a passion you know i put a lot of time a lot of money goes like into this stuff and like, when you make music you're gonna understand what i'm saying you know music production when it comes to like studio time you know the mixing the recording mastering you know music videos like everything all adds up like we don't even have to talk about promotion and yeah same time learning how to deal with um anxiety and depression it just felt like i was just like losing just losing and keep on losing you know what i mean so right now i'm trying you know my possible best to like get my shit together it wasn't like i was drifting away it was just like um a lot of things were just like going wrong that's that's what it was they say losing up young blood in my fuck around have attention but i can't i can't because they won't fuck you up they start from inside yeah, it's that passive aggression. If you look at my pictures, like most of the time, I look pissed. I've had a lot of people, they tell me you need to like smile more, days there, you know what I mean? But I don't know how to. I just don't know how to. It's more like how can you smile when deep down there's something like bothering you and all these things. And I've had situations where like you tell people your story and they end up using it against you, you know? So it's hard to even like open up. It's good to open up, but I would say open up to the right person. But then, you know, you have to remember a problem shared is also your problem at the end of the day still and i need to keep watch of my surroundings the timing in the meantime appreciating all these little things because even the pounding don't give me joy and the front line is hot and the plan is to get comfortable in life while they're aiming at the top sometimes your circle can also be the problem sometimes we do look at uh, the problem is coming from out there when it's actually from our circle, you know, from our group of friends and these things happen. We got to a point where like nothing was bringing me like joy, you know, not even the sex. When I say pounding, I'm talking about the sex. It was more like I'm just trying to like bust a nut and then I just carry on with my day. When you think about it, I was I was in a bad place, man. Because <laughs> most of the time we'd be drifting and um, we forget about to leave. And that's the scary part of it. That's when I started like looking at things from a different perspective. Also appreciating like the small things. If I would be able to provide for my people and the people like around me, shit, I'll be very, very happy. You know, the plan is to get comfortable in life. That's what I mean by that. Will I ever get to be in love? Asking all these questions deep inside, still don't get an answer. Ah, is that everyday trauma? Love life? <laughs> The roller coaster. That's why I'm asking all these questions and still don't have the answers. This is let love lead and let the thirst feed. But how can I keep a peace with this fire burn inside me? 
take care of my people. Never come to brow around some certain niggas because they're evil. Because then they tell you like, love the people around you. For example, if he's thirsty, let him drink first, which I have nothing wrong with that. But let's say, if he's thirsty, I'm thirsty. You get what I'm trying to say? Make it make sense. Said I would change it, but I'm back again. Stuck up in it like a drug. Counting this drug. One to one, the bad thoughts, ah. Huh? But this is something that we will live forever. I'm ready to go. Down for it whenever. What I'm trying to say is I think we should learn how to say no to like some certain things. And say completely no and don't go back to it. You know, it could be job, X. You get what I'm trying to say because then what happens is we end up like falling for the same um for the same trap for the same mistake over and over again and we all end up getting hurt you know at the end. Truth be told, I just need love. I just need someone to show love, not show off. Maybe I just need a hug. It's had to be somebody. Always want some. I've always had a private life. How I see it is, I feel like there is some certain things that need to be on the internet and there's some certain things that don't have to be on the internet that's why i said i need someone to show love not show off but yeah it's hard to be to be somebody like make it when you have people around you always asking for like something that's why i say it's hard to be somebody always want some okay i'm not saying you shouldn't give if you're in the best position to like give then yes if you're in the best position to give but don't want to give then i don't think that's being selfish. What I would say is, you know, check around your circles and try to figure out like all these fuck niggas, you know, they only cause you when it's only beneficial for them. They don't need those type of like people in your life, man. So you know I gotta show some certain type of image. Nigga, I come up, bro. Inside this maze called life, I got a few names of individuals who told me, bro, don't forget, please remember me when you make it. From my perspective, you know, I always see the world as um as a maze because at the end of the day we are gonna die and that's the fucked up part because it's like this circle of life you know from birth you know you just like trying to like make it and then from there you know maybe you make it maybe not then family and then you know what i mean you get old and then chill six feet <laughs> six feet if you know what I mean? so why not make the best out of it while you're here um do the right thing of course although me personally i prefer to like give i just I ain't got it yet, but I do have people that's in my mind 24 seven, you know, that told me, bro, please remember me when you make it. And um, yeah, man, I will, <laughs> I will. But yeah, that's just on my mind. Um, What's next for me is new music, that's for sure. You see where we at in the studio cooking up, you feel me? The next hit, which is gonna be just because. So you guys keep an eye on that and um, yeah.